Hi everyone, I am representing from Mauritech testing team. Today we are going to discuss about the UFT automation framework and the key benefits of this framework are we have automated mail alert system here and it is easy for maintenance and we can reuse the code as well and we have summarized test results as well through which we can check our test results. Let me show you the folder structure first. We are having five folders in this framework. The first folder deals with the batch file. In this batch file, we have a batch file and driver script. In this batch file, we have the list of the test cases which we are going to execute in this framework. This is the test name Google underscore action one and we have s or no options for executing all these test scripts if we keep s then it will execute this particular test script and if we keep no here and it will not execute the test script we are using a macro for executing all our test scripts and let us go and check what is there in our macro here in this macro we are specifying code for opening the quick test application and we are specifying the path of the result set and we'll call driver script from this batch file itself we specified the path of the driver script here in this sheet one let us go and check what is there in this driver script as we already told you that we are having an automatic email alert system here in our framework we are having a method for sending the mail after completing the execution send mail is the method which we are using for sending automatic email no need to do anything manually we just need to click on our execute button and just wait to execute all the test script and we'll receive an automatic email I configured all the email IDs here in this driver script and we have methods for creating the result sets and for executing the test scripts which are given as status in the batch file coming to the second folder the second folder is that datasheet folder in this datasheet folder we have a document that is nothing but an excel file in that file we have first row as column names and the second row includes all the values which we are passing to the test script these are the input values which we are passing to our test scripts the third folder includes resources which we are using in our test script those are app specific function library generic function library images verification and object repository the app specific function library is nothing but the functions which are related to our particular application if we are using Google or Gmail first of all if you are using Google we will have of all the functions which are related to this Google in our app specific function library let me show you all these by using UFT in this UFT we have a solution hybrid framework underscore POC here and the Google underscore action one is our test script name this is the action which is present in this test script the function libraries app specific function library contains the functions which includes the code for opening Google website and after that it will type Mauritech in the text box and after clicking on the search button we'll be redirected to the Mauritech website and after that we will get our USB page and that is the end of the script execution and coming to the generic function library we will have all the functions which are common to all the controls which are present in our application that is entering value into the text box and selecting a value from the drop down and clicking on a button we kept all these functions in a function library and we have an action through which we will call our function specific app specific function library and the fourth folder deals with the results we have detailed QTP results 
error screenshots and summarize results in the detail screen QTP results folder we will be having individual test results for the test scripts which we which we have executed and in this error screenshots folder we will be having all the screenshots which we receive while executing the test scripts like if you get an error it will take screenshot automatically and it will be saved in this error screenshots folder and the summarized test results includes all the consolidated test report of our a complete execution and the fifth folder deals with the test cases which we have created by using UFT and that test cases will contain all the actions which we have created and how many times we executed these test, test cases we can, we can see in this folder let us go and execute this code first I am going to the batch file and I the only thing I need to do here is just click on execute button we don't need to do anything manually just click on that execute button and we don't need to open UFT as well everything happens in the background I am clicking on this execute button here now we have to wait and see whether it will open Google Chrome and Google website or not it open Google application and after that it will type Mauritech into the web edit that is text box of this Google application and after entering that particular text it will click on Google search button we should be able to see all the links which are related to Mauritech yes it got typed and the search button got clicked and we are able to see all the links in this page and the script which we are dealing with clicks on the first link and after clicking on this first link will be redirected to Mauritech website yes we got redirected to Mauritech website and as we already discussed that we'll be able to see our USP page in this Mauritech website let us wait and see whether it is getting clicked or not it should click on this company about us tab and after that on our USB page yes it got clicked and it went to our USB page and that is the thing which we are doing in this test script and we are comparing these images as well this Mauritech image and the 10 years success logo as well let us go and check what happened and whether it got passed or failed uh, we have our test results folder in which we can check our results right we'll go to summarize results folder and we need to check the most recent executed created file that is the last one I'm opening that file and it is showing that status as passed that means it got executed properly the test case name which I have showed you previously that is Google underscore action one it got executed properly and the status is passed here we can see our test results in this particular path and the execution date and start time and end time and the duration will be shown in this test results document this is a test results document thing this is the key benefit of this framework that we are getting all the summarized results in a particular folder and we will get detailed results as well and let us go and check the main functionality of this framework that is we should receive an email for our mail yes I got an email here let me check it I got the path of the results and I executed only one script that is showing here total scripts one and it got passed and the count is shown here it haven't got failed and I'm getting failed zero status here 
and it is you easy for maintenance we don't need to change everything every time if you want to execute more number of tests we can add those test case names here and we just need to give s or no here and just click on execute and execute all the test scripts which you want and we don't need to do anything for getting the test results as well we are already getting those in test results folder and we don't need to do anything manually for sending mail as well just give just configure all the names in the driver script and you can send this mail to all the people which who are related to this application these are the main benefits of our framework thanks for watching the video